What's going on guys, JB Tech here back with Best City of Jailbreak Tweaks of January 2012. So at the end of the month I'm going to be making one of these videos with my favorite top tweaks available in Cydia that were released that month. So let's go ahead and get started with this. This is in no particular order by the way. So I'm just going to be giving you these and yeah, let's go ahead and start guys. To start everything off, we'll begin with Zephyr. Zephyr allows you to simply swipe up right there and then you can go to your switcher down here. And not only that, but if we're in an app right here, as you see there, we will simply swipe left and then we'll switch apps just like that, guys. And then we'll also swipe right. We can go back and once we're done, if we just wanna get rid of it, instead of hitting the home button, we'll simply just swipe up and it closes out the app. And that's awesome guys, you should totally check this one out, it is available for $2.99 in the Cydia store. So for $2.99, you get a pretty awesome tweak. Maybe it's a little steep on the price, but it's an awesome tweak nonetheless. Totally check this one out because this is one of those tweaks that you'll probably be using for quite a while. Next is actually a combination of Overflow and InfiniDoc because they both work quite well together. And what Overflow does, it actually gives you this cool cover flow effect down here. As you see, like the little album artwork usually that you see on your music app. You can actually have it down here and it looks just like that. It was just pretty awesome. And then with InfiniDoc, what this actually does, it lets you simply scroll between your apps in your dock. And not only scroll, but you can actually add more. You can I have my settings set to 5. You can add more than 5. You can actually add 6, 7, 8, up to 10 or less. You can make this really awesome. I usually have my most used apps down here. So these are my most used apps I can see and also these of course. But anyways, you should totally check this out. Overflow is actually free, but InfiniDoc is 99 cents. But for 99 cents, you get you get quite a, quite a bit of good stuff here. <laughs> so check this out in the Cydia store. Next is Slider Pro. And what Slider Pro allows you to do is basically customize your slider on your lock screen put in like different various dates and different formats and let's go ahead and open this up really quick and I'll just show you through the settings app it does give you different settings you can change you can go down here to slider pro settings and there you go you get the dates you can add different dates and stuff or different formats of dates so you can display on your text or you can just add your custom slider text as you see there and I just closed it because I used that awesome Zephyr app <laughs> or the tweak but that, that was that was a uh, kind of fell there but anyways on to this you can add different mixtures of the hours minutes dates months and all that and also just times with seconds and hours and all that and hide slider I have my slider hidden so I'll slide the little slider thingy down there you can actually do other things like the light animation instead of it being glowing like that left and right or whatever through the text you can actually take that off or disable it you can customize the slider text so you can make it big, you can make it small, and that's not what she said. And tap to unlock, you can actually turn that on. So there's various things you can do there. So go ahead and check this out. This is actually free. So definitely check that one out. That's a pretty awesome way to customize your slider the way you want it. So like I said, check that one out for free in the Cydia store. Next is Springtimize 2, and this is actually $2.99. And what this actually does, it gives you different settings. And if we go to Spring Tomize in the Settings app, it does give you different settings so you can customize your springboard how you want it, giving you various options to change in the Settings app. As you saw there, we do have animations, capabilities, dock, lock screen, icons, folders, app switcher, time machine, status bar, pages, theming, notifications, and more. There's various things you can change on here, so I'll just quickly run through this. So on the dock, you do have that cover flow effect and also you can hide the dock, hide labels and all that, use hide reflection, stuff like that. And on your lock screen, you can change different, just a couple of little settings there. Icons, you can change all these, you can disable the wiggling or the jittering and then disable uninstalling, uninstalling. Resize the icons, you can make them really small and stuff like that. So folders, status bar, you can actually change some stuff. You can change the custom carrier so you can instead of it say AT&T there you can add different things custom time 
all of that good stuff guys so go ahead and check this one out it is available for 299 in the city store so you get a lot of stuff here <laughs> so check that out guys next is 3g unrestrictor 5 3g unrestrictor allows you to trick your applications into thinking it's in Wi-Fi so you can actually use them over 3G or Edge and the main app would be FaceTime you can actually FaceTime over 3G without being on Wi-Fi so if you're out and about and you don't have Wi-Fi you can actually FaceTime still and also you can watch high quality YouTube videos through the YouTube app while being on 3G or Edge and also you can do the iCloud backup and the iCloud photo stream and all of that all the things that restrict you from using while you're on 3G or Edge, you can actually use them now just by adding, at least let me just show you real quick. We go to edit on the top left and we go add or the plus button. And then we just add different, all your apps, whichever apps you want to choose. So let's just take, for example, whatever that is, backgrounds. And, oh, that's actually a wallpaper app. But we just hit done and that's it. Let's go back. Um, just respring just to make it sure it takes effect but check that one out that is available for $3.99 in Cydia next is my Y 5.0 they actually just recently updated this for the iPhone 4s and what this actually does once you do turn that on it gives you a Wi-Fi hotspot so if you have that unlimited data you can actually share your data and all that with other laptops you can take your laptop you can connect it to the internet but it'll be using your 3g from your phone so be sure you do have that unlimited data because if you don't your data will be racked up and you may be seeing a huge bill at the end of the month so you don't want that be sure you have the unlimited data because like i said it does eat up your data when you're using like laptops and you're streaming videos or if you're downloading something and all that you can share it with other ipads or ipods or iphones your friend's iphone if they're close by you and they don't have service or something you can share your internet connection basically with any device so check this one out this is available for $19.99 it's a hefty price but if you don't have tethering and you don't want to pay that monthly fee you can actually just download this for $20 one time only and then you can be tethering with other devices or laptops or whatever you got but it does come with a free trial so if you want to try it out for free first and then check it out and kind of get a feel for it and see if you like it Go ahead and download the free trial, and then if you want, just go ahead and pay the twenty dollars for the full My Y. You can download that for twenty bucks, so it's not bad if you think about it. You won't be paying twenty bucks each month; you just have to pay one fee. So check that out. And last, we got ProTube, and this is actually available for one forty-nine. It's not bad at all because let me just explain what you get for one forty-nine. It's basically the mobile version of YouTube as you see here, and then we can search here whatever you want to search and then we got a little tab here where you got my videos inbox all that stuff as you would normally see on YouTube on Safari but you do see down here you got a little navigation bar and then we got the home button the little refresh button and we got this awesome button right here which makes it all worth your penny so for those of you who like downloading videos and all that and just different songs you can actually let's take my video for example hmm how funny it's my video anyways we'll go to that video say hit that little button down there and then we download this you can download it in HD 1080p which is what I have there 720 HD 360 or you can actually just download the audio it'll be just mp3 so let's just go ahead and download the audio real quick and then once it is downloaded, we go to the saved and then right here we will download the audio so you can simply play that back and then you see it is downloading now so once it is downloaded we can actually listen to it just through this app or if you have the video you can actually download the video so let's go ahead and listen to this audio real quick there you go there you go guys so let's take one more let's just do this just for example and I just accidentally hit that button but go ahead and download and then let's download uh, just to hurry up <clears throat> we'll download 360p so it is downloading now it does it does download quite fast of course because you're on, I'm on Wi-Fi I, I don't know <laughs> I'm on Wi-Fi right now so maybe that's why it's downloading so fast but simply click on it and there's a the video guys so you have 
it for any playback use anytime you want and we can also get the little URL there copy the URL it's a really really useful app guys you should download ProTube it's only 149 and you get you get everything how you would want YouTube to be download different videos different mp3s and stuff like that so go ahead and check that one out again 149 you get pro tube so that's going to be it for best city of jailbreak tweaks of january 2012 as always hit that little like button in the bottom left if you like this video and also if you have any questions comments or anything like that leave that in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button up top for daily city of tweaks and videos like this every month so be sure to hit that subscribe button i appreciate y'all for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.